Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. And once again, there has been 30 days without me uploading. Now, I have a very good reason for that. I'm actually hard working on maxing this account. It's been a big grind and you'll be able to see that in this video. But very quickly, let me talk about the goal. The goal for this account is to max before the Trailblazer leagues get released. If you guys do not know, I will be going all out on the leagues just like I did on the Twisted Leagues. Speaking of Twisted Leagues, if you haven't seen the Twisted League videos, I have like 41 episodes on that. But basically, I am extremely excited for Trailblazer League, but I'm also very excited to finally max an old school account. So I'm extremely motivated right now to play a lot of RuneScape. So with that being said, let's jump right into the video. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been mining for 19 days in a row and we are just one or away from being 99 mining and we're gonna get it right now with the boys on Twitch TV live stream. Here we go. Let's see how long it takes to mine this Mifri lore. I am so happy this is about to be over because after that I only have agility, runecrafting and hunter left to go to have a completely maxed account and there it is ladies and gentlemen 99 mining accomplished someone said Mika sucks and I'm very tilted about it but there, there we have it I have never had 99 mining on any runescape game because I always thought it was very unachievable but there it is. I am extremely happy right now. We're gonna get a cape. I don't even know where I can get the cape. Uh, but we did it. 99 mining. I can't believe it. I was averaging 15,000 experience in Motherload Mine. And we somehow managed to train 13 million experience in this skill. This is... A very, very good moment for me. Before we move on with hundreds of hours of progress, here is a very quick word from today's sponsor. Raid Shadow Legends, ladies and gentlemen, is the sponsor of today's video. And let me tell you, this game has much more to offer than you can imagine. As you guys can see on the top left corner of the screen, I have been playing this game for way too much. But if we quickly take a look in the tavern, you will see the amount of champions I have leveled all the way to 60. And something very cool about this is the fact that we also have Executioner. Now you may be wondering, what's so cool about this champion? Well, if you click the link in the description, you can get Executioner completely for free. I actually had to grind to get this champion to the stage where he is, and he will hard carry you through the brutal campaign if you focus hard enough to get him all the way to level 60. Easy. So if you guys are interested in Raid, firstly, they have added the new Champion Fragments. Those Fragments let you collect pieces of Champions that you can then use to summon specific Champions. So with a special event running right now, you can get an amazing Krila Witch Arm, which is a legendary Champion, very very good. It ends on August 28th though, so you have to be fast. But on top of that, there is also a new Bazaar where you can actually load up on high value items with the gold bars that you end up getting in a Tag Arena. So they also just extended the daily login to up to 270 days so you can get free champions by just logging into the game every single day. Now it's been a crazy month of updates for raids so if you haven't yet started go ahead give it a shot check the link in the description and start off raid. Not only will you get 50,000 silver but you're also gonna get 50 gems, one energy refill, one clan boss key, five mystery shards that you can open to get some new champions and on top of that one day xp booster and guess what executioner completely for free so all you have to do is you go here in the game you click this little chest and the executioner will be waiting for you right over here so what are you waiting for the reward is going to be available for you only for the next 30 days so make sure you go ahead grab yourself all these rewards and start playing raid whether it is on mobile or on computer now for free here we go let's check the amount of ores we got from 97 to 99 mining so i should have some coal boom 6000 coal i did some amethyst but very minimal five amethyst we've gone and done some gold ores those are all basically profit runite adam Mifrin or what else? 
What else can you get? And the most importantly, nuggets. 1,996 nuggets coming in. So if we quickly were to price check, the amount of ores that we just mined for two mining levels, we end up getting 17 million worth of ores. And the best thing to buy with nuggets is simply these gem bags. I think there's like a 0 0.0000 whatever 1% chance to get an onyx out of this. 40 golden nuggets, nuggets each. So if we just buy 10 at a time, um, and I guess we just like turbo open them. Yeah, we're just gonna buy 10 at a time, open these, and then price check how much we got just from the gems. That is actually kind of sick. Look at this. Meow. Okay, there go my... There goes my hard work and dedication to this amazing skill. Imagine averaging 15,000 experience. There it is. That's it. We don't have any more nuggets, ladies and gentlemen. And we got 854 sapphires, 51 diamonds, 10 uncut dragonstones, boom, 569 emeralds. And on top of that, 196 rubies, so 1.2 million on top of uh, all of the before. So together, ladies and gentlemen, we got 18,540k but that's from, ors are only from 97 to 99. Anyways, I'm complicating things. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. We are at our favorite small dwarf. I needed 17 minutes to find this guy. Um, there he is. Look at his little cape. I have never had this cape in the game. I think it's one of the coolest looking capes. And let's ask him if we can buy his skill cape of mining real quick. Oh man, 99,000 coins for this beautiful cape. Look at it. Look at this. Oh man, look how well it goes with Prospector. And my giant red dragon. Look at it. Beautiful cape with that. We I don't know how this hood really... I mean, it kind of goes. It kind of goes. But yeah, let's see what the skill cape emote is like. I actually don't know. There we go. Boom. We smashed the rock just like that. And it's been done. The 99 mining. Now we go on to the next grind, which I think is gonna be all of them combined. There it is. 89 rune crafting, ladies and gentlemen. 500,000 experience to go. Goddamn. All right, here we have it. 22,000 blood runes later, and we are level 90 rune crafting. So I think we started at 88 or 89, I'm not quite sure. And we made. Let's see, 9 million worth of profit just through blood runes, that's very nice. So from 90 to 99, I will either be doing soul runes or I will be having people run essence for me and paying them. I think soul runes is going to be the more realistic one. However, right now, I do want to fix this hunter situation right now. As you can see, uh, hunter is my lowest skill and I quite enjoy hunter, especially if I do something like black chains and anti PK. So I think I'll go and get that to at least level 90 as well. Why the f is there a whole Narnia of people here? What? Don't know, yeah. Oh shit, okay. Uh, I'm totally not ready for this. <laughs> there we go, the first kill, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. We got him. Always right click, we're good. The first anti PK. The man is down. He even had food left. Uh, we leave some bruise on the floor, but that's gonna be a nice little addition to 100 chins. We'll take it. I mean, here we have it. 800k bonus loot on top of 100 chins, which is 300k. Oh, there we go. Wrong game mode. And we just got 87 hunter. Lovely. First level out of many. I just got a pet. I just got a pet. What? Lol? I just got a pet. Haha, <laughs> yes! Look at it! Look at this happy fella jumping around! Look at him! I was like, what is this shit? But it made a screenshot for me, the rune light. That's so cool! Look at the little fella, man, it's ours! Apparently you can metamorphosis like a lot of times to make a golden one as well. But I don't know how rare that is. Wow, I'm so happy! Alright, so here we have it, my little chin chompa. We're gonna quickly make sure we have this one insured. At the moment, uh, the account has one, two, three, four, five, six pets. And this is gonna be a nice addition. Now, unfortunately, I actually don't know how this works. I always forget. Do I just use this on her, maybe? 500,000 coins. There we go. And now if I check, this little chin chompa is gonna be insured. Very nice.
Okay, I have gained about 500,000 experience today. I also got 1,559 chins, which is 4.5 million. I will try my best to keep all the chins and not sell them. I don't think I will ever be in need of money. So we will be able to track our chins all the way until 99 Hunter. However, now it is time for me to AFK again. So that means we are going to be returning to good old... Rune crafting. Right, now we can do soul runes. Let's see how long we stay there for. I assume I'm only gonna be there for one level, but one level for you is many, many, many hours for me. So let's just go ahead and do it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. 18,000 soul runes later, and we're finally 91 rune crafting. Now, I do have one thing that keeps happening to me right as I'm at the end of these runs. I run out of run energy, and apparently I can fix that by just getting to 96 agility. I don't know if I want to do this right now, but that's something I should probably do so I don't walk the last parts of going back, basically. Um, however, at the same time, uh, we just made ourselves uh, 2.5 million from this level. So if you do blood runes, you actually make a lot more money. And you sacrifice just a little bit of XP, but obviously we want to do it as fast as possible. And this is still going to take me probably over a month to complete, so... We've been doing some agility, as you can see, we're averaging 67k an hour. But most importantly, we now have 315 hallowed marks. So if we go ahead and buy our very first die, we are able to color one of our graceful pieces already. And we're gonna start off with the body, because I think this will look the coolest. And here we have it, the very first grace... That looks scuffed as fuck. <laughs> what did I just do? That's horrible. Well, let's get the rest of the black graceful pieces. Alright, I just wanted to do a little bit of agility to see approximately how much money I could get if I do Sepulchre. So I didn't do it the most efficient way because I ran to the GE a couple of times and I was fixing up my inventory and whatnot. But in the little process of getting 100,000... Uh, agility experience we also ended up getting 1.2 million so that's actually a lot of money for the experience gains that means for every million xp you make if this is legit i should be looking at probably around 10 million profit so i didn't actually realize how profitable sepulchre actually was however i'm gonna get a little bit of a break right now from agility it's because i've done it on release yeah, yeah, yeah. good luck Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, we have 300 extra marks, meaning that I can trade this mysterious man and buy another die. I think I'm gonna go with legs for the second one. We can add the die to the legs. And since the last clip to this clip, there was also an update that made it so Dark Graceful is actually more dark. So there we go, we've got two pieces. Now it's looking a little bit better. 99 fletching ladies and gentlemen the agility level is almost 95 and we are at the point where we can buy our third die so i think the next one actually i might go for cape but realistically i'm probably gonna either be wearing an agility cape or an infernal cape or, or something like that so i think my next recaller is going to be the graceful hood so if i click this and that now we're slowly looking like an absolute beast. Just boots, gloves, and cape to go, I guess. So, 900 points for that, but after that, I'll probably also be grinding for 5,000 hallowed marks. Now, I'm not sure whether or not I'm gonna continue agility after the level. I might try to go for 96, because at that point, my agility replenishes at the fastest rate, I believe. So, that might be the goal. Here we go. A lot of agility later, and... 95 agility it should happen sometime here there it is for some reason it just disappeared but there we go 95 agility oh my god 900,000 xp to go oh it's gonna be rough man i yeah it is what it is good thing is this blank graceful does motivate me uh because it does look like really really cool um but damn that's gonna that's gonna be a grind honestly here we are again, and I think this time around I will be buying the cape, simply because, I don't know, it kind of looks nicer, I believe, when it's black. Even though earlier I said that I don't need cape, but just look how cool this looks. So that's nice, 600 marks to go, and I have full black graceful. Alright, here we go, 325 marks, and it is that time of the day where we buy a dark dye yet again. Two more pieces to color, here we go, let's go with the boots. 
and then just the gloves to go very nice we've been getting some really decent xp per hour 80,000 so that's very solid i'd say so i'm just gonna keep going the goal is to reach 96 agility and full black graceful all right ladies and the gentlemen we have gone and done it the full black graceful is about to be um achieved uh, but very quickly before we go ahead and buy the very last die in this little session we have gained um we have gained over 250,000 experience and over 3.4 million gp so very profitable i always get surprised how much money i actually make of this and here we go, uh, the very last die needed, boom, and we use this on the die, and there we have it, the full black graceful, we look like an absolute champion, I do not know why this part of the skin is showing, it's kind of scuffed, but anyways, uh, there is still one more thing that I have to do, and that is to get a squirrel recaller, as you can see I have the pet following me right here, but in order to do that, I need to get 5,000 hallowed marks. So the first goal is going to be to get to 96 agility. And then after that, I'll probably start working towards that 5,000 mark mark. I can't believe it. I was skipping. I was waiting with my agility to hit the final. And I got it on this obstacle. I didn't even know I get agility XP for this obstacle. 80. Okay, well... There it is, 96 agility, and that was the goal, actually, for the video. This was the last thing that I wanted to accomplish, and here it is. So with that one out of the way, I can now comfortably conclude the video, and this is going to be the last, well, the before last progress video, because the very next one I should be maxed, and it's gonna take me a lot of time, don't get me wrong, it's gonna take me a very long time, in fact, to finish all the remaining 99s. Um, I, I, yeah, I got a bit distracted. It's actually hard to talk and think and do this as you speak, but basically eight more rune crafting levels, three more agility levels and 12 more hunter levels. All of that is going to come in the next episode. Thank you so much for all the support. And if you enjoyed the video, give it a little like it helps me out big time. I'll catch you again. Hopefully. Well, it won't be soon. I'll promise you that much because I want to max the account. With that being said, I'll catch you later. Have a good one, everyone. And bye-bye.